Okay, sorry about that. Moving on. <laughs> this one I was curious to see because it's from Alma Tweedy. And as soon as I opened it, I thought, hey, I have that same stamp. So cute. So thank you so much. I'm glad you're trying out your markers and things because she's said um, she's been doing some more crafting. And that's so cool. That's one of the um, papers also from the uh, Recollections paper, isn't it? So thank you so much. I'll read this to myself. Um, this is really cute. You did a great job. Wow. Look how cute. Handmade card. Thank you. I'll put it right here. And so this is from Alma Tweedy, and it looks like she included several different mixes, I want to say. So a couple more, um, like this one here, okay, they all come with different colors of mylar. This one's here, a gorgeous red mix, it looks like it has tinsels and stars and uh, chunky glitters and red colors. This one's a gold mix with um, mylar, or yeah, mylar and green and gold and all kinds of different colors of glitter. Um, another, uh, I'm sorry, not another, this is a purple mix with um, different colors in it. It looks like these are all kind of um, Halloween related maybe? I'm not sure. They look Halloween like. And this one's uh, black and oranges. And then this one down here um, has different colors of like silver and different, uh, really chunky. It has lots of different spangles in it. Really cute. Thank you so much and thanks for joining us and thank you for that cute card. Uh, let's see here. Oh, sweet. So this is from Danny Beauty. I guess it sounds like beauty. It's called My Little Pony Mix, and this one's for me, it says. Um, so I'm going to move it this way so you guys can see it better. So she included lots of nail art and hexagons and Fimo and a Fimo stick for you guys. And her mix are here. It says... Um, so this is her first swap, so she said, okay, this is perfect. Um, my Little Pony in 1982 was my most memorable gift. I still have it in my trunk along with all my favorite stuff as a kid, along with my children's things that I want to keep. Oh, I do the same thing. I include a purple acrylic flower with two green leaves that I made. Look forward to your next swap. Wow. Okay, so she has some handmade um, flowers in there, too, for you guys. Um, very pretty. It's a gorgeous purple mix. It looks like it has uh, iridescent stars. I see tinsel. I see purple chunky and fine glitters and maybe some iridescent or green glitter. Really, really pretty. Thank you so much. And let me see. I'll probably have to... Ah, I'm going to get this when I swap it out, okay? Because it's kind of stuck down really well. So thank you for joining us. You did a great job and thanks uh, for sending one for me. And this is from... Wow. From Denise John 65 my son is just like freaking out over there. I don't know what he's doing. Um, it's called G.I. Joe, of course. Fun, very original. Wow, look at that. I don't even see the colors really well. Um, let's see. So this is her G.I. Joe mix made from dyed eggshells in the camo colors and different colors of glitter and greens, gold, silver, and even a bit of green mylar too. I even made the camo Fimo too. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Take one for yourself. And G.I. Joe was Barbie's favorite boyfriend, she says. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, look at that Fimo. That's really awesome. Thank you so much. Check it out. Thanks, and thanks for including one for me. I know he's being so original. Wow, good job on that Fimo. Awesome. I might have to try that myself. I tried doing a leopard one, and it was okay. It didn't come out perfect. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so this is from Loco for Lucas. So welcome back, Rachel. I haven't seen her or heard from her in a long time. She says she inspired two of her favorite toys when she was young, Gigapets or Gigapets. I never use those, so I don't know. I guess it Gigapets? I guess it was Gigapets. I don't know. I'm 34. I think that's way after my time. So one year for Christmas, she got Comfy Kitty, uh, which was yellow with pink buttons, and Digi Doggy, which was purple with yellow buttons. Uh, and she said she enjoyed her pocket pets for years. So she misses them. <laughs> I do remember those little pocket ones. I can't even remember what they're called, but back in the day, you had to feed it or whatever. I guess it's similar. Um, okay, so her... Digi Doggy Mix is the purple one here. It says it includes purple iridescent fine, ultra fine glitter, yellow iridescent mylar, yara, <clears throat> excuse me, yellow iridescent tinsel, pink iridescent ultra fine glitter, purple metallic tinsel, purple hollow, hollow hexes, and purple flocking powder. And then her Compu Kitty um, one mix or mix contains yellow uh, iridescent and orange iridescent ultra fine glitters, yellow and iridescent tinsel and mylar. Pink iridescent hearts, pink iridescent tinsel, and yellow iridescent hearts. Very cute. And they are, she includes a small sheet of silver hollow star sticky back paper and assorted size and color sequins. So sweet. Thank you so much. And she said I can choose one for myself, so I will definitely pick one of those out when I go to swap them out. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. And it's good to see you again, or hear from you again. <clears throat> see. So this is from... I love Juicy23 and so cute. She always packages them so cute and this is very generous. So she says, 
Um, thanks for all the time I spent on the swap. She just loves doing it. She couldn't decide which mix to send, so she sent half a teaspoon of each. Okay, guys, so there's half a teaspoon of each if you were to get this. She included that cute spangles, those little moons and stars. And then her mix, this top one, is a gorgeous blue mix. It has large, chunky white gl um, hexes. It has, like, rhombus glitter and blues and silvers of tinsels and chunky and fine glitters. And the other one's kind of like a brown... Really pretty. These go well together. It has like teals and browns and uh, tinsel, chunky glitters, uh, hexes, and ultra fine glitter. Very, very pretty. Thanks so much and thanks for joining us. Okay, so I have another one from Mamita Nails and it's called, excuse me, Baby Doll. And it's so cute. She has little pink um, like Chanel hearts and flowers for you guys as far as the nail art. And she included one for me too, so thank you. And her mix is like that bubblegum from uh, Joanne's. It looks like that light pink, but it's kind of chunky glitter. Uh, iridescent chunky glitters, iridescent tinsel, I see some fuchsia and maybe fine pink glitters, I also see something bright pink in there. Really cute, very sweet mix. Thank you so much, I'll just take this one right off the top. Thanks for joining us again, Mamita Nails, and turn to one for me. Okay, so there's another one here, i got a fish around for it, it's from Creative Miss Kitty, and I believe this is her first time joining us. Uh, let's see here. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. I can see already when you open it up. How cute. She's very creative, just like her name says. So this is Creative Miss Kitty and she has her spellbinder cut out over here and she says she was such a nerd uh, as a child. I had a few toys but love my Simon Says. So her recipe for her gorgeous mix, so she also cut, it looks like die cut or maybe cut out with a punch. She included it on the edge there for you guys so you guys can have a very good idea what it looks like as soon as you see it. Um, her recipe is black fine glitter. So pretty, oh my gosh, look at that. Um, silver microbeads, blue, red, and green glitter rounds, holographic and silver, I'm um, sorry, holographic silver pigment and reflex green pigment. Wow, that makes a huge difference. That's so pretty, I mean, you can see it in the colors. Gorgeous, and she included for me a um, purple nail striper, as you can see, that is so pretty, There's stripers. I need to try those out, I'm always afraid to. <laughs> um, and then she included some for everyone else also has a striper with theirs, okay? Thank you so much, it's so pretty. And, okay. Oh, you know what, one of the stripers is missing, that's okay, I'll put mine in for that person. It looked like one of them didn't have a striper. Okay. And this is from Levin QQQ Leslie. Welcome back. No he's visto en mucho tiempo, ya. Uh, oído de ella, voy a decir. Uh, and she usually does hers in Spanish. So, tiene um, piedritas bien bonitas y estrellitas para el arte de uña. Y su mesa es una mezcla um, morada muy bonita. Tiene mucho um, brillo holográfico, algo así. Tiene crispies o palitos plateados. Tiene colores mor morados y azulito y un poco verdecito, pero a lo mejor el verde es el lo holográfico, ¿no? Que se ve. Muy bonito. Thank you so much. Alma, muy bonito. And thanks for joining us again. And this is the last one for the month. So, here we have it. I was always thinking, should I do mine again? Like, I'd make mine and then i you know, in the video and then um, I don't show it again. But then I thought, well, maybe you guys want to see it again. I don't know. This is really cute. I love that. She put um, glitter glue. I never really think glitter glue works that good. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Okay, so thanks for hosting another swap. My glitter mix is based off one of my favorite Christmas gifts ever I, rece I received, a Louis Vuitton bag. So that's a nice thing to end on, huh? I hope you enjoy the mix that I included for you and have a wonderful autumn. So sweet. So this is from Sabrina86, as you can see there. And her mix is, like she said, Louis Vuitton bag, LV bag. And it is like a gold and... Um, bronze mix. So there's bronze tinsel, gold tinsel. I see chunky gold glitter, very fine gold glitter, maybe very fine bronze glitter. There's microbeads in there and gold. And I think there might be some bronze ones too. That is really cute. And she included for her nail art, you guys, a little LV Fimo. That's sweet. Awesome. Thank you so much and thanks for including one for me too. So that's it guys and um, hopefully the next one, like I said, will be maybe in January. Um, depending on what we're doing with this move, I, we don't even know. We're still confused. So um, and hopefully if I don't move too far away, there's just things in the works that we're planning so that I might have to stay in California up until um, a summertime. So I'll let you guys know, of course, and um, we'll see what happens. All right. Thanks, guys, for everyone who joined, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye now.